So like I said, when I was kind of getting big and, and bulky, I kind of had to change up my workouts. So my workouts that I do are primarily for weight week stuff, and I found that that's something that's quite a bit more sustainable and it gets me in more of a athletic type shape, but I understand that there's a need for strength training, especially in your age and trying to fill out a little bit. But So if you look at the, the circuit training um, page that you guys have, circuit training, especially cyclist training in particular, is done with just your own body weight and a weighted plate. So you guys would need to use a, a 35 or a 45 pound plate if you were to come to one of our facilities. And cyclist training is essentially a sport made out of different exercises. We have 500 different exercises. If you come into one of the gyms, it looks like an indoor football field. Okay? And in order to score points, you go from one end zone to the far end zone and back. And it could be anywhere from running, jumping, crawling, pushing weight, carrying weight, dragging weight, all with the plate. Um, there's a lot of different crawls and stuff that we do. And then we have these different progressions that make the exercise either harder or easier based on what's in the progression and how, how often we do it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go through kind of a series that we would do in cyclist training. And again, remember you're usually traveling at distance. So if you have a place, I mean, even in here, you may be able to get away with it if it's not busy from here to where that cage is, or if you have access to the gym upstairs, uh, or like where the batting cages are, or something like that, that would work. If you have a gym that you belong to, maybe it's the neighborhood club, if you've got an area in there, you should be able to do this there too, okay? Um, or outside if it's nice. Or just come to the site train. I don't know. Um, <laughs> What you're going to do is uh, a mountain. So if you look on, on that little sheet there, there's something called a mountain, and you see the little progression in brackets. This is the order in which you perform the exercises. First, you, you would do a sprint. Okay, so that means you would run down to the far end and back. So just picture you're in a gym upstairs. Run to the far end and back. Then you're going to do that again. You run to the far end and back. And then you're going to do squat jumps. You're going to do 10 squat jumps. Okay, at one end zone, run to the far end, do 10 down there, come back. Then you go back to the beginning again and add on another exercise. So you're successively adding an exercise on one at a time. Okay? Then you'll see if you get into things like your push-ups, uh, bear crawls, and then um, bear crawl, I mean, it's really just crawling on all fours like that. That's a very, very basic crawling movement. Uh, backwards lunge, which is number six. You're just going backwards, you come together for an extra step of balance if you need to, or you can step straight into the lunge. <laughs> and then finally, a gator crawl. So, a gator crawl is a good exercise, upper body exercise. Your hands are staggered as a push up, you're just walking, okay? Just like that. And that would be just one length of the field, or one length of the, uh, of the floor of the stairs. Okay, um, the centaur two. I'm not going to go into too much of that kind of stuff, but I, I will give you kind of a preview of some of the stuff that we do in Cypress Training. And it may look a little foreign, it may look a, a little crazy, and that's that's kind of the point, but it, it's, it's, what it's doing is, is um, <clears throat> kind of getting every, all your coordination, all your balance, everything kind of working together. So there's things that we do call like Bulldogs, number two. And it's just different types of crawling. So you get wide like this, and you're crawling like that, then we'll reverse it. We'll go back to doing the same thing. And if it looks goofy, that's, that's the point, but it's really, really hard if you're doing it for an hour straight. We have other movements. Movements that are actually specific with, with, with baseball in mind, because I was a baseball player, I've trained a lot of baseball players. So what I try to do is mimic a lot of movements back and forth that that's similar to stuff that you would do while you're, you're playing. So there's something called like a taras or a trog where you're touching the ground, touching the ground. Okay, there's a lot of movements like that when you're playing that, I mean, if there's a, there's a ball hit to your side, you're, you gotta get down like that. It's the exact same thing, okay? Exact same movement. <clears throat> you use something called a uh, scuffle, which is very much kind of like if you're pitching and you're driving, we do that all the way across. So I have like 70 year old women doing baseball movements. Uh, pretty frequently, so it's kind of funny to see that. Um, <clears throat> there's other things like uh, something called a cyclone, which I would probably recommend that everybody does this in 
there's strength in it too, uh, which we'll, I won't go over that, but a lot of movements are very similar to either any type of rotational exercises or, or sports that we do. But a cyclone, you're here in like kind of like an athletic stance. You're gonna pivot, square your shoulders, your hips, and push down. So it looks like that. We call that a cyclone. You would do 24, okay? So 24 total. If you were at our gym, you'd do 12 on one side, 12 in the other end zone. Okay, there's stuff like that, or what we call a top shelf, where you're here. So it's kind of like a deadlift up and over, right back down, go to the same side, do eight on one side, do eight on the other. Okay, a lot of this stuff, like I said, it's not, it's not heavy weight, but it's it's a lot of multi multi um, uh, planes that you're going through. So that's really important so that way you're not limiting your mobility. Um, so then that would be your circuit day. So there's a few ways to get that done. You could follow this workout directly, or you can do. Um, you, I mean, you can come to Cyclist Training. We'll show you. We got trainers there. They'll show you exactly how to do it. Right there on Nine Mile, that's probably the closest one to here. Nine Mile, St. Clair Shores, uh, between Harbor and 94. Okay, I'm sweating. Okay, and then.